Today's the first hits, the first rallies with Toro line, Toro, Toro. If you took the poll about which string I should review next, uh, about 50% of you out of about 70 people that responded voted for Toro, Toro. So here we go, we got today's first hits. This is not a review, it's just the first hits. I also wanna take a moment to mention, there was a really good question in the comments yesterday from my Toro line absolute string review about I often mention Kirschbaum Orange or Grapple Snake Tor M8 or even Solinko Confidential. The one I don't mention enough is Toraline Super Toro, which I really love. So I'm hoping this is um, <clears throat> similar to Super Toro. Let me take that back. Maybe I don't love Super Toro if I'm playing great and I think it's for more advanced players. And if you're playing great, I think Super Toro is an amazing string. But I often don't mention it as much as like Kirschbaum Orange. But the question which I'll post right here was, do you think my judgment gets clouded with all these string reviews since I have these strings that are my default strings that I sort of love, maybe have confirmation bias, that I really enjoy those strings, and that some of the other string reviews I'm doing when I don't like them as much, um, maybe it's because I have confirmation bias. So it's a really fair point, but I'm going to say, actually, I don't believe that's true because at the end of the day, I'm always looking for the strain that gives me the most amount of confidence each tennis shot is like building upon each other. When you get the mental confidence from the sound, the thump, the way a string reacts to the ball, the feel, your confidence starts to build. And I'm always looking for a string that increases that confidence. And I don't care whether it's a string that I currently really enjoy, like currently it's Kirschbaum Orange is my go-to, and then Toraline Super Toro if I'm really playing well and I feel like I can break through the crust. But most importantly, why I don't think, while it's a really fair point, most of all, why I don't believe it to be true is because I've been play testing so many strings and I've been playing a lot of tennis practically every day, doing string reviews and doing them back to back with this against Kirschbaum Orange or this against Tor M8 or this against Super Toro. So I have these, I've been testing so much that the differences between the strings, which are pretty nuanced at the end of the day, this is all very subjective, but it is pretty nuanced, but the more you play tests back to back and when you're playing every day and you're doing those back to back tests, the more nuances that you start to feel and sense. If you, the alternative is if you test a string one week and then the next week you test another string, you're likely to really enjoy it or think you enjoy it. Or maybe I should ask, how many times have you tried a string that you think that's your string? This is it. I found a string that even plays better. But then a few months later, or a month later, you're like, well, maybe it's not. Or you go back to a previous string and you realize you like that string better. That's the type of thing that happens a lot more. But if you're play testing all the time and you're playing a lot, you really start to notice the nuances. So while this is all very subjective, my point is I think most people or many players and maybe even most players, if you were doing what I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis, even though it's subjective, I think most people would actually come to the same conclusions that I'm coming to when you have that much play time with this many strings. That's not everybody, of course. Everybody has different play styles and so forth. But I would think more people than not will end up finding these perspectives to be at least informative, if not always true, because there is a lot of subjectivity to it. So anyways, today is Super Toro Toro first hits. One rally, everybody knows the rules, and that is a spoof. One bite, everybody knows the rules. So, let's go hit some balls. All right, back ends. Ready? I'm going to be over here. I'm all mic'd up, so if I have any comments as I'm striking the ball, I'm a little warmed up on another racket, but now it's time for Super Toro. Nope, not Super Toro. Toro, Toro. Right off the bat, it does sound good. But like any new string, of course it feels firm. But the sound is really nice. And if I get the heavy breathing, my apologies. I expected them to feel crispy. Being, I would think, in the family of Super Toro. And they do feel crispy, but quite lively. If you don't mind in the comments, let me know if you like these raw style videos. I did one from Otoro, and people seem to like a first hit with a string versus just a re review. Uh, 
as with most to our line strings, snapback is excellent. Very firm. Actually, I strung this at 52 today, not 50 like usual. Went up a couple pounds when it's hot out. Try and go up a little bit because the strings feel a little softer. But so far, really crisp. I'll be using these all weekend, hopefully break them by Sunday, and then be able to get a review up. It's all right. Unless these fall off the cliff like head hawk touch. I can tell you already, most likely, it's gonna be a very good grade. Again, it could fall off the cliff like head hawk touch after 45 minutes to an hour, but I haven't seen any tour line strings do that, so I doubt it. Feels really nice, really nice sound quality very responsive won't be the first time if by sunday or monday i change my tune completely so it just depends over time and i don't know if this will make the cut but i'm going to europe on monday for three weeks and i'll be playing on a lot of red clay which damn i love red clay it's so amazing on the joints gives you more time So I don't know what kind of content to make. I guess I'll find out. But if there's something in particular I want to see, Germany in particular, I'm a member at a small club there, a little rinky-dink club, but it has some nice red clay courts. Yeah, so if there's anything tennis related in Germany that you're interested in knowing in the Cologne area, other than how great beer is and how cheap it is, like a dollar for a 16 ounce or 20 ounce bottle, one liter. If I do end up liking these strings, why do I always like strings where I hate the color? Or hate's a strong word. Or seriously dislike the color. Kirschbaum orange, not a fan. Toraline pink, it's kind of cool, but not really a fan, it's just not my style. I understand if it is your style. So, 45 minutes in or so, or an hour in. And still very firm, crispy. Sorry. Ah, oh. That's trouble. Nice get. I thought she may have had Tourette's, but no. She just likes to get mad at cars. The string has a very responsive, firm, deep sound to it, which I love. <laughs> 